The clapper, clap on. All of this. Clap off, clap on, clap off. The clapper. I need to roll out my legs. Ready? Same z's. 162. Here we are. Another one. Another one. I'm going to throw this over here, actually. Give me that. I'm going to make a mess. I'm just going to put it right there. I'm going to put it right here for now. That works, too. All right. Here we go. It's like, how's everyone doing, Eric? Bear? Uh, I'm drinking some tequila and fresca right now. It's a good little mix. Zero calories, actually, you know, for the people who want to get fucked up. But You know, you might have held that right where your like mic was, the arm, right where the arm was. Okay, now you go. There you go. And some tequila. So, you know, support the rock. Loose. I mean, I'm just drinking. I didn't buy it. Terramana. Oh, touche. But yeah, I mean, I guess I'm still nice. supporting because that's some good shit. But, um, Terramana. Yeah. Yeah, it's decent. Definitely better than Casamigos. That's for sure. I mean, honestly. But both trash. Yeah. I mean, if we're being. They're commercial tequilas. They're, yeah, correct. There is some good tequilas out there. But, uh. Of course. I haven't drank tequila in a fat minute. I haven't Swear. drank. And oh, going 13 on. 13 days now. Yeah, pretty much. More? Less? When did you start your little sobriety? Huh? Uh, a little less than 13. Because I, uh, I did, I had a couple drinks on 4th of July. So I started on the 5th, technically, was my first sober day. Did you have some beers? Yeah. Real did, American actually. shit. Did beers at the lights? beach? Or no, I had um, some... <laughs> What did we have? Miller? Some, uh, no, it was actually some like uh, IPA, local stuff. It was a, uh, it was like a guava something. Oh, damn, yeah, it's pretty good. This was at at the beach with uh, oh, at the beach with Dylan. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I did you have a couple. To, uh, you went to uh, uh, blue day. smearing off ices. Those will get the job done too. I had three beers, three of those. Two white claws or two uh, not white claws, trulies. Damn, you got turned. Not really. Yeah. That's why I'm taking this sober money. <laughs> <laughs> because my, my drinking level is impeccable. Well, but that's why we're called no hangover because we could drink a god awful amount. Oh, shit, I don't have perfectly my phone, fine. so you're gonna have to. Fuck. I can pull up the topics here. Actually, I got you if you want to see them. I need to get this. You were picking some crazy topics this week, huh? And pick jack shit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> COVID vaccines. We're still talking about COVID. It's 2023, guys. Yeah. So we all know it was a fucking. <laughs> it was all a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking well, mirrors. I wouldn't go that far, but it was nah. definitely overblown. Definitely overblown. And we have the well, information. You gotta. Right eh, it depends who you ask, honestly. Okay, I'm well, sure some people in the medical field would feel like it was... Uh, well, I mean, again, overblown in the sense of... For how, instance, in how, my field, definitely. In construction, I mean, we didn't... Construction workers didn't give a flying fuck about it. Oh, of course not. Bro, construction workers are, like, very durable people. Yeah. So, but, like, in terms Fuckers of, like... Two to three hours how, I'm th- Like, I'm talking about in terms of, like, how how deadly and how how much we thought COVID was going to fuck up the world. That it really didn't reach that potential, but it did change a lot. It sped up the process of a lot of things as far as like how we do stuff. You know, you know, we were kind of in that gray area of like streaming, you know, delivery services, all that, and COVID really yeah, just fucking did. fast forwarded that shit. And I mean, it shit, definitely fucking, fast forwarded the working from home. The remote like, stuff, yes. Remote jobs fucking skyrocketed. Mm-hmm. Now more people work from home than ever. Well, damn, who was it that I was talking to? I don't remember off the top of my head, but <laughs> it's me. I mean, there was, I mean, it was just working from home. Like, there was people that were just like, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm not coming in, like, I don't want yeah. to commute from work an hour and back. I'm just as productive from home. And like, it was just people just correct. Yep, it, I'm not, it literally we're changed, not doing it. it. And it was enough people the world in the workforce in their little office or wherever it might be that were like, yeah, we're just not going to do it. I don't care what you say, boss. I'm well, like, I mean, once people started figuring out, like we could do the same shit from home in our pajamas. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck would somebody want to, you know, drive to comfort? Work? I mean, it also like, you're just able to get more shit done like in your own life. Like say you're at work, you need to do for dishes, you need to do some yard work, you need to put some shit away, organize some stuff. Or like, especially for people with kids. Like with imagine kids, how helpful that's that a big responsibility. Yeah. You know, they got 
it's kind of like a untold role at that point because i mean like if there is you know a man and a wife in a relationship one actually still goes to work one works from home boom they're gonna have to what get if it's a man with... and a man <laughs> or a woman or a woman i mean yeah if they adopt some children Boom. But um. But anyways, I thought you were gonna say some dumb shit. And that's why <laughs> I was trying to fucking reel. I'm not a he monster. Didn't take the bait. No, he's not. You're a good guy. If you were a monster, I wouldn't be doing this with you. So that's true. I mean, do I have different opinions than most people? Yes. Yes, I do. Was COVID vaccine stupid? Yes. Yes, they I were. I mean, I will agree with you on that. <laughs> I, I will I was, agree with you on, your, on have, that wholeheartedly. But uh, I mean, stupid to the point where. Me well, and you probably didn't need to take it. I didn't need to take well, it. Well, for you instance, take I it, mean, like, to, to health to, wise, like risk wise, we didn't really fall in those categories. Correct. Maybe to, to go off my you point a little bit more because you said you had. I asthma. mean, I had asthma when I was but, a kid, but yeah. to go off my point, it's a controversial topic. Any way you look at it, but COVID and COVID vaccines, I feel like turned into more of a political thing, of course, than an actual like, like else did. than an actual disease itself. Like, yes, it was a disease that you know spread through the whole world. It was a pandemic. But it turned so political so fast, and it was more like, especially vaccines, became such a political-driven issue that I feel like no one took a fucking step back and was like, wait a second. Well, I mean, like, it was in the middle of an election are, year. Yeah, so. but I mean, people were so gun ho on one side or the other where well, I was that's just why, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, just like, wait a second. Is it a coincidence? My, my logic and my whole reasoning behind why I didn't get vaccinated, I had this discussion like 15 minutes ago but i had this <laughs> i had this discussion where my whole logic behind it yes tech uh technology and like in the medical field and just in the world has advanced so much so yes it is possible vaccines can be made faster but my Not thing six months there's faster. no <laughs> there is no faster. proof of the long-term effects like i don't care how much science they put behind making it there is no proof on what it was going to do to the world and you can't there's no proof like the only way you can get the proof is wait. Correct. You have to fucking time. You can't yeah. fucking speed up time. Exactly. So they and claimed it worked. They claimed it would work. They claimed it would, you know, get a get the vaccine to save yourself, protect yourself, all that good jazz. And I mean, I'm basically God willing. I was like, hey, I put my faith in God. Whatever happens, happens. Ooh, yeah. if, if if COVID wanted to be the one to kill me, sayonara, friends. Eh, fuck it. Okay. But I'm still here. So, granted, most people don't think like me. Most people. We're so gun ho about it, and they were like, "Oh, I gotta protect myself." And you know, not talking shit to any of you that did get it. It, like I said, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. But if if that's how you felt, like you needed to protect yourself, by all means. And I know it's different for everybody. Some people like their jobs forced them to get it, which that too was kind of like. And that's when shit would get weird, though. Like that's where that's it got kind of weird for me. That's it's like, where why it are looks people correct. Push? Like why? Are, why is this shit getting pushed so? I mean, I was getting I, even my own parents were like trying to push me to get it, and I'm like, no. Well, like, I mean, I've been on record of saying that's why I got the vaccines because I like my family was giving me a lot of pressure to get it, and I figured if I'm gonna fall to pressure to anybody, it might as well be my family. And yeah, it's like, nope. well, if we're my peers, my parents, they were telling me to get it, and I was like, fuck no, baby. Yeah. And I told, and I told several people in my family that like I did the first one stop you know with the extra shit stop trying to make me get the second yeah. one the booster all yeah, that shit. shit like I did this even though I didn't want to because of you guys like that's where I draw the line yeah my shit on top of it is like <clears throat> and granted I mean there's still you know more and more research is being done so like when they just the way it all came out looked so ridiculous to me like stance you know from the outside looking in of so they come out with a vaccine, then they come out with, oh, you need another shot. Then they come out with a booster, then a second booster, <laughs> then a third, then a fourth. And I'm like, you get seven shots. And so like, what's the point of the first shot? Like, granted, I'm someone who has tattoos, but like you, you weren't putting that needle towards me. Like, fuck no. Yeah. I mean, it should, should did get a little weird. It got a little fucking very. Divisive. And yeah. And like I said, it was definitely, I mean, and the crazy part is it wasn't even about choice at that point. Like. People were so yeah, gun, I mean, gun people ho were about like, so oh, if you didn't get the vaccine, like yeah. they just deemed you as a Republican instantly, or they, they deemed, or they you, deemed as like, you as someone who doesn't care or about anti, society, or they deemed you as a, well that too that, but like the anti-vaxxer t- or title would be placed on you and shit like that. Yeah, and which I could care. Yeah, you don't care about your neighbor, you don't yeah. care about your parents, but like also. And my like, thing was, I was healthy. I stayed away from people. Like, I did my part to be clean, stay healthy, eat right, like. 
real health, you know, saving things rather than fucking, oh, get a shot. I'm sorry, but you can get as many shots as you want. If you still live a dirty lifestyle, you're still a dirty person. Boom. Wash your fucking hands. <laughs> Wash your ass. Like, literally. <laughs> Use yeah, deodorant. Like, <laughs> like, there's a lot of <laughs> hygiene that goes into it. Uh, fucking cleanliness. Fucking. Well, yeah, but. A bunch of shit. A lot like, of it, I mean, with COVID, it was more of a. And then six feet arrest. apart. Like, you could stay away from people. It's not. Granted, me and Eric sit pretty close right here. But it's not that hard to stay away from people. Like, especially when that was going on, a lot of shit was closed down. Like, a lot of stores were closed down. The Like, yeah, the malls, even, all, all yeah, kinds of I shit. I mean, people were still fucking... Yeah, people were still out and there about. There was fucking people Florida, having Florida parties. didn't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, Florida I don't know like, how it was in other states. I don't know how it was yeah. in Washington, because you were in Washington. But you yeah. also lived by yourself, so... I lived by myself, but I was also, at that time... And I worked you were in at a, Ground Zero. I worked in a, a phone store, and phones were deemed uh, a necessity. So, like, Ground we Zero. still worked... Yeah, I was. I was 20 miles away from the first uh, U.S. like COVID. He was uh, exposed to that shit. Maybe. That shit was in your Never vicinity. tested positive in my life. I have not tested positive either. Although I, I have, have been got around sick. people. I've got sick like and twice thing, and I was like, like There's, I have to have it, right? Yeah. Did three tests both times. Because I was like, all right, maybe the first one is just a false negative, right? Yeah. So I did another one. I've never turned a positive test. No. Yeah, I haven't turned in a positive test, but there was definitely one time that I and I those got do- sick. I'm talking a nurse fucking stuck that shit. She hit my brain, <laughs> and I was like, "There is no she way." Into your thoughts and dreams. I was like, "There's no way that could just be this test." Like, I'm talking like rub my eyeball. She a little took some bit. of your memories with you, probably, <laughs> but never came back positive. So I was like, "Hey, yeah, that shit is." I'm um, Gucci. It was that was definitely spooky times. Watch the, weird times. Some hay dudes. But I mean, even the aftermath of it. I mean, we're what three years removed from it now, from being locked down and quarantine and all that shit, and and all the fucking political turmoil that came with that. So, I mean, we're still seeing the the aftermath and the after effects of a lot of these things because i mean it's been three years since people have been taking the vaccine so we're seeing you know what side effects and you know people dying from it or people yeah. having heart attacks and the complications a lot that of come blood from clots it. is what blood i've seen lately. issues things like that so i mean it is um scary you know it's, it's scary i mean it's i mean it's everything unfolding at this point i mean we were the guinea pigs the ones that the people who took it the people who were gun ho about it the people who were pressured into take however you took it i mean those we're the guinea pigs and we're starting to see you know i mean what the everybody are. like un- not taking it or taking it the whole not just u.s population but pretty much the world the population world. The world. was I mean, used yeah. was used as i mean UFC, like this is this NFL, is a this I mean, is a test this sports is a, were you know especially ufc that they were still going i mean they were you know if you didn't if, if you didn't get the vaccine then you were going to be tested every day if not every other day those were the kind of like if you're not going to get vaccinated then you got to go through yeah ABC they made you go through a big D process hoops if you you know that's your choice, but we're going to make it so difficult for you that you... It's yeah, just but easier. at least they gave you that option, you know? It, yeah, but... They did the try... That, I mean, the, a lot of people did try to do that. I mean, they did it in cruise ships. They did it in a bunch of shit where I it's mean, like... Airports, they almost New York, forced they almost New York, forced they had to fucking... You. They were making those fake uh, vaccination cards for people because people didn't want to get it. But, like, it is like... And I'm not saying one thing or the other. I'm just saying, like, it is a little fishy when it's being so, like... So push passively aggressive, yeah. pushed. I mean, that was a, a you know, it was a huge agenda because who's behind vaccines? Big pharmaceutical companies, big pharmaceutical companies were Money. making millions of dollars putting out these drugs, putting out these vaccines. So it's like, bro, million billions, bro. These guys were the pharmaceutical companies yeah. and shit. Like that's they. No, that's I'm saying the real like money within. Makers. I'm talking within dropping vaccines. They were making millions, like same day, making oh, yeah, millions, yeah. you know, off the bat. Like, well, well because uh, they were pr- producing them in bulk for, you would, know, for workers, for fucking companies that needed a, that were going to offer it, you know, public. That's why I got Russell mine Brand. Out. Russell Brand had like, he had a big spiel. Like, you can't even find it now. Like, if you try to search it, they, <laughs> they'll, they'll shut that shit down. But he, he went off on like all the pharmaceutical companies that were making. Like Pfizer, Johnson and Johnson, all these companies that were making millions by dropping vaccines and stuff. On Spotify, you still like if you depending on whatever podcast or whatever that you listen to, if you know, they have like the COVID information stuff still on there. If they're talking about COVID and kind of having yeah. cr- controversial opinions. Anything you about say COVID. about COVID, they'll put a little thing on Instagram, <clears throat> they'll even put like I've seen it on a lot where they even just mention COVID and you could see like false uh 
false information or like there'll be yeah. like a sensory for more it. information on covid yeah. click this link because it's, like, it's oh, so gosh. pushed that like anything you say against it has to be fake right but like as long as you're agreeing with the pharmaceutical companies and the people that are making money you can say whatever you fucking want bro so <laughs> All that's I know why i'm like eh, this you know, world is fucked up everybody do your research that. and this isn't you know but we more, were kind of more so more than anything if someone has a different opinion of, of what you think, that doesn't mean they're a bad person. That just means they have a different opinion. Correct. You and can hear I went them out. through I went through a lot of that shit with my own family, with people that I was close to, because I was so like for politics, for me, it's just so hard for me to wrap my arms around it and get so passionate and so fucking like, ah, oh, politics. Because it's just to me it's such a dirty game. Like no it matter is. what side. So Correct. it's hard for me morally to really like not that I don't keep myself informed, but to be so fucking like this side or this side is better than the other side. Like I just I see things for what they are. And to me, like both sides are just we're at a point. I like your snake analogy that you always use. The snake analogy. I haven't brought that one up. Politics is two snakes. The Republican, the Democrat, they're both snakes. They're both going to fuck you up. They're snakes, literally little fucks. The only difference is, is for me. I feel like the Republican Party is a snake that you see. It's on the sidewalk. You kind of know what you're dealing with. You know what you're getting. It's there. To The Democrats is more of like the snake in the grass. They're doing smoke and mirrors. They're trying to fucking sneak up on you. Virtual signaling signaling a lot. Fucking doing day, like righteous stuff. And like this is the right, but still doing dirty shit. Bit. At the end of the day. Real shit. Doesn't, Real shit. Don't matter what snake you pick. You're getting fucking bit. So, like, I just listen to certain things and I just, you know, pay attention and I keep myself informed. But at the end of the day, I know morally where I stand. So if people want to attack me or think that think lesser of me or or, you know, attack my intelligence or whatever, because I don't really give a fuck and I don't care about either side. I just want people to hold themselves to a higher standard because then naturally you're going to hold you're going to want to hold your leaders to a higher standard Correct. and we don't do that we give people Correct. passes a lot so they it brings the standard way down. low to the ground yep way and for down. me it's like listen i don't feel obviously i'll vote when the time comes and and things like that but i don't really feel like that's how i can get my message across as far as like my contribution to try and make people better and not yeah, even make people contrib- better, but just make people think about what they're doing a little bit more before they do shit. Yeah. Your contribution to society. Most people think it's gotta be like you to and you should vote. Point. Listen, I'm not saying don't vote. If you are eligible to vote, you should vote. You should fucking, you know, yeah, look up let and your voice be heard and, 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 you know, read up on that, those things when the time comes as far as candidates and policies and what, you know, what they're going for and shit like that. Correct. If they align with what you believe, by all means vote, but it doesn't matter what side it is, but don't let people fucking define you by that shit. Because whether you vote left, you vote right, you vote for an independent party, you, that doesn't make you a good or bad person. Correct. I know that, good and bad people on both sides. I know good and bad people who don't give a fuck. Like your political leaning does not your political, dictate who you are as a person. Your political voting doesn't correct. It doesn't make you who you are. It's your character. It's how you treat other people. It's how you treat you know people you see every day. Facts. Just because you vote for someone who you'll never fucking encounter in your fucking life. And you think they're going to save you. <laughs> That's on like you. The people but who were unfollowing and like be defriending people that were voting for like the opposite of what they were voting. Oh, and like, I mean, that's just yeah, like, that's we childish know both shit. Sides. You know, both sides. Like, and to, I know yeah. people on both sides and who did it. To me, that's people like, who hate Republicans on following Republicans, people, Republicans who hate Democrats on following Democrats, go. people who are independent that both sides think are stupid. Like yeah. anybody, anybody who had a different of opinion, I mean, but automatically kinda, became stupid, but it got to the point. Like, cause even with me, like I, I have, I know, fights. I know people that I have, I had people that are close to me that go both ways politically, but like, and I would have conversations, not that I would shy away from the conversation. It's just that like, it got to the point where it seemed like they were both kind of bullying you into like, come to this side, come to that side. Yeah, of course. Although That's- I will say, I will say, more times that I talked to people that were right leaning and more conservative, they were it, the conversations tend to go a little bit more civil in my experience than people that were more left leaning. And I'm not saying again, I don't have a political. Well, I mean, that's rare. Though. That's rare because I mean, there's both sides. You'll have, but that's but that's just the outliers. That's your 
like people like to say, you're radical, you know, radical Republicans, radical Democrats who are more in your face about it, more fucking pushing, well, pushing their beliefs and their agenda down your throat. Well, the thing is, and again, this is just based on my experience in that time. Like when I would talk to people who are more right leaning, like I'm in the conversation could go sideways and it, if not saying it wouldn't go like there wouldn't be arguments and the conversation wouldn't get loud and shit but at the end of the it just, time you're talking about politics yeah. religion anything we're you're not supposed to talk about which because, we tend to talk about and, on the podcast and especially in those situations that like in situations that i don't really have a a dog in the fight like i'm so like i just play devil's advocate and try and understand it's like okay well here this is i hear your point but this is what this side is saying like you understand how like you guys have similar correct the, the, at the end of the day all it was was both sides are scared of what direction we're going in the country and the reason why people were, were scared is that you start cutting off communications with people that it's don't the think unknown. the same as as you then you kind of start building your own narrative in your head and people are just thinking that if you're republican then you just fit in this this and this box if you're a democrat mm-hmm. then you fit this 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 in this box and then that's what I'm going to think about instead of talking, instead of talking Correct. to people, people, having the conversation. People didn't want to, you know, hear. And that's the that's the worst part. People were so, you know, stuck in their beliefs. They refused to even have conversations with someone who didn't fall under their way of thinking. Mm-hmm. And like that, the whole reason we do a podcast, for instance, and the whole reason we're called No Hangover. Go ahead. Let them know. <laughs> Uh, no hangover. That's because, um, although, you know, we do drink a little bit, you know, this is the, it's, it's a triple, it's a triple meaning, triple meaning. I thought it was right, maybe a just a double. Um, we eh? do drink a little bit and it kind of like <laughs> came, came up off of that. I don't know. Bro, at this point it's past the double, <laughs> but, um, what's it called? Where was I at? Even though we, you know, this kind of started because, you know, we were friends, we drink together, turn up, whatever, blah, 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 this and that, you know, no hangover. And we did have that crazy. Um, if you listen to the first episode, <laughs> you'll hear it. We do kind of had, you know, none of us really got hangovers, but it also comes from, we had crazy stories. you know, having conversations like this, like me and Jacob. And if you check out other podcasts, like another one, that's, uh, that's good. I, Damn, I forget what number it was, but it was about the religious one um, where we were talking about religion. Damn, I can't think the of the early one. It was we were still in the office and we still had the table. Mm, I don't have my phone. So upstairs, you, downstairs? No, it was downstairs. It was me, you and Jordan that was on it. But we'll have conversations like this and we're going to disagree. You know, we might raise voices at each other. We might. But like there's no we'll come back and you know reconcile and things will be okay and we can move from the conversation move forward there's no hangover from past conversations you know past events past actions shit like that because we're able to keep that communication open and talk about shit and understand like this is how this is what was going this is what i was you know feeling at that time like that's why i said this that's why i did that that's why i fucking whatever the situation is whatever the case may be and like you let said, we all up, have. Let me pull up YouTube real quick so I can check, see if I go. can find that one. We all have. I really, I thought that episode was one of our better ones. Interesting. And like he was saying, we all have different points. I mean, we all have different points. We all have different views on certain things. Bad. But that doesn't mean one, we can't be friends. Two, that we can't talk about it civilly. Facts. I mean, we might, like you said, we might fight a little bit, but you know, no, I mean, shit. I it's mean, also testosterone. I mean, yeah. we're freaking well, I mean, three dudes that went oh, to the gym all the time. TV. Like, shit. It's that one. That one. But like just naturally again, like you said, when you talk about those type of things, like it's gonna naturally invoke emotion. Sometimes yeah, it gets the blood going. But like if you can't sit down and this isn't just, you know, with friends, but just in society, if you can't talk to another human being about differences, like I have I have serious questions about how you conduct yourself as a human. Like how are you not able to discuss different things and different issues with people? Like we're not meant to all think the same way. Facts. If we were meant to, if we were created like that, God wouldn't have created humans with free will. The mystery of faith, episode one fourteen. That was a good one. Go check that shit out. There you go. I'll have to listen up on it. (laughs) That shit was. There's a snippet. We've we've talked a lot. Yeah. We have hours upon hours of. (laughs) We're trying to. We're trying to get to that ten thousand hour mark. That's when you become a master of what you whatever craft. Master shit talker. <laughs> Real shit. But uh, <laughs> Real shit. Oh, shit. I mastered that a long time same. ago. Same. <laughs> I'm way over those ten thousand hours. <laughs> way over. But um, yeah. 
Good conversations. We got what solid, we like to have. We got a solid fucking 25 minutes in just because of fucking COVID and the well, craziness that. that fucking COVID was. And I haven't even gotten into my topics yet. <laughs> uh, uh, should, we, should we stay on the tinfoil fucking bro. ring or should I go uh, no, worldwide man. population first? Whatever. I'm here to talk about whatever. All right. Why I bring up worldwide population <clears throat> real quick. Population control. The Conspiracy. worldwide population <laughs> is uh, officially over 8 billion people in the world. As of last month, it's officially over 8 billion people. And how many people have lived, like, throughout the history of human history? Can you look that up real quick? Type in how many people have lived throughout human know. history. Fuck no, it. look it up and see if it comes up. Because if there's 8 billion people now, I mean, <clears throat> we're, I mean, and I've always thought this. I feel like we, as people, are, like, reaching capacity on this earth. Like, there's only so much land that you could take up. Because if you think about it, like, the smaller the animal is the higher quantity that there can be like bugs there they outnumber us like a fucking trillion to one but like the the bigger the more space you take up as a being the less of you there can be because then you're using up more resources taking up more things from other animals and it's just going to disrupt the fucking cycle of life natural and the natural and i feel flow, like there's the food cycle, yeah there is no way natural that order in the world exactly there's no way that beings animals whatever of our size there's supposed to be that many of us because i mean you think about it there's deer and they're like up north they have a deer problem there's no way that there's eight billion fucking deer in the world and they have a deer problem up north like in jersey like the area where my sister lives yeah, maybe not eight. But no, there's no. Not way. at all. No, yeah, way. no way. No fuck. way in hell. There's eight billion I mean, there's fucking deer. Hella deer. I mean, that's why they got deer season and everything. Let's else, see. But... Deer population. <laughs> <laughs> like they have every deer fucking numbered. No. Well, I mean, they have some type of fucking. They'll have some type of A number deer for poop. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the things that came up. Let's see. Is this on just videos? Sure it is. That's why I was watching. I was watching. Five hundred fifty thousand to seven hundred thousand, in that's just in Florida. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so and again, they're considered a problem sometimes. Burmese pythons in the Everglades and all that shit. There's about the same number of them in the yeah, in the had, Everglades, they open, and, they, and that's they open, and that's uh, a problem in the Everglades. Yeah. They're they're creating issues that they're eating too many of the natural or the, everything. They're, they're eating everything. Yeah. They're eating rabbits, turtles, snakes. So they're lizards, killing out a lot birds. of the fucking animals that naturally live in the Everglades. So imagine in that little that could area, be our side hustle. They had that thing open. Yeah, they had like an open hunting. Like they they pay. You trying you to, to go, go fucking kill some snakes? What if it strangles you, gets you, and eats you? They're eating alligators. Imagine. That shit will fucking swallow you whole. If it gets to throat me, throat. man, we got. <laughs> we got It'd be like one I'm of walking around there like, like fucking holy. Raphael from the Ninja Turtles. I got, I'm going to have them things oh, on me. Fucking katanas or whatever. <laughs> no, they're nah, not katanas. It was, uh, they're fucking... Leonardo had uh, the katana. You know, the lead, point... you know who the leader of the Ninja Turtles is? That's up for debate. I think it's the blue one. But, Leonardo. Yeah, the but one. the purple one is kind of. Uh, Michelangelo? The, yeah, he's the brain. He's though. the techie one. Yeah. It's Leonardo. Uh, is Raphael the, is the is the, the, is the hothead, the, muscle, the muscle, the strongest one. Yeah. Um, the fastest one is uh, the orange one. Yeah. He's kind of the goofy one. That's though. um. But they all kick ass. They're teenage mutants. Jesus, how did I forget my boy? Uh, Don. No. Donatello. That is Donatello. Yeah. Do, is it Donnie? I don't mm-hmm. fucking know. Look it up. You got a phone. Yeah, I, would, I know I'm right. I know I'm right. Fucking yeah, fact right, check well, me on these damn Ninja sure. Turtles. You're gonna see in the Leonardo, <laughs> Raphael. So Leonardo's blue. Raphael is red. Michelangelo is purple and Donatello is orange. Donatello. Boom. Fact check my ass. Dare but you. back to my original point. I used to fuck with There's shit way no too. way that people should be reaching a capacity. The human beings should be reaching the capacity of 8 billion glad, and like that shit is going to fucking <laughs> still go up. I went off on a tangent. But go there. yeah, go okay. look up how, how many, many people have lived throughout human history and see what comes up. People, or however you got to word it, because that is, I mean, we're at 8 billion right now, and it's 2023. We've lived what people have been on earth for hundreds of thousands of years, I think. I that one, I don't know. I'm kind of just chewing off the top of my head, but 117 billion, 117 billion, that's what it claims, and we're at 8 billion right now. You can't, you know, you can't really. 
believe everything you read I mean, on yeah, Google. That, but I mean, that's a rough estimate because, I mean, we have trouble of keeping documented people now. Like, yep. so imagine when there was no fucking technology Way of keeping that. <laughs> keeping track of people. Like. People are just listing it off of like because I think it was hovering around. It was like six billion for a long ass time when we were in school. It was around like six or seven billion to go a up a whole another year billion. BCE, the world population was fifty million people. Five hundred years BCE, it was a hundred million, and in the year zero, around two hundred million people were estimated to live on Earth. So year zero, I'm guessing is yeah, that's before that's when Jesus Christ was born. That's the timeline we're going off of. So imagine two hundred million people, and now we're at eight billion, billion. people, over eight billion people in fucking twenty twenty three. It's wild. We live in a crazy world, I tell you crazy world People but anyways to go off my uh little why i'm even bringing up, bastards why i'm bringing up that what's crazy is the world um world's population there's a hundred for every 101 men there's 100 females i guess so i guess men in the world now? men have finally caught up but the, the funny thing yeah it's for real but the funny Jacob, thing we got to sacrifice uh, for our brothers but the funny thing about that is um there's more because it's there's more boys being born there. I guess it's like 106 baby boys mm-hmm. are being born to 100 girls. Mm-hmm. But why the population stays, you know, 100 to like 101, basically, is because even though there's more boys being We're the ones statistically, going to war women, the hard, women jobs. live uh, usually statistically, they live 8 percent longer than men do. So, yeah, because we're the ones doing all the crazy the shit. Correct. We we're do dumb shit. Going, we're the ones going to war. We're the ones. We were the, that, all right. So we were the first ones drafted into war. I mean, yeah. I'm sure women went to war throughout history. No, I mean, I'm sure there has been, but like a majority the of number history, has always been men. A I majority it. of it. history, yes. it has been men that is going to but war. But obviously, that shit is changing. Fun but. fact: since 1946, there's more women in the U.S. than men. Since 1946, the odds are in our favor. <laughs> That's okay. So if you lose one, <laughs> you like, always know there's another one out there. <laughs> he's going through a heartbreak still. <laughs> Give him some time. <laughs> nah, I'm all but right. back on, right. back to the tin foil hat episode we got going here. Um, it's the tequila. That's what it was. So well, why you went on that first tangent? It's getting me fucking wound up. <laughs> <laughs> so bringing up the world population, let's talk about. Well, let's talk. Let's about see it. here. Oh. You wanna? We haven't hit music real quick. Let me just say, Don Tolliver's album is probably one of my favorite albums of the year. Katrina, obviously Katrina. They're fucking Katrina. To me, while you while you get your thoughts figured out, Katrina to me is probably the most underrated like producer right now in the game. Like he doesn't get the mainstream love that like uh, that uh, what's it called? What's his name? Metro Boomin gets. He doesn't get the mainstream love that fucking Murder Bees gets. Like shit like that. But he K Trinata is a fucking hell of a fucking producer. If you like music, you like layered beats and things like that. Go check out K Tramine and the rest of K Trinata's catalog. And Don Tolliver, because he's nice too. Damn, he couldn't gather his thoughts in that time. Well, I still keep on. Oh. It was just, I just re uh, configured it to where it's up here now. Billy, a uh, Billy. Yeah, you want to go with Disney first or with Bill Gates? Well, Disney, they're gonna fucking, they're gonna come. They're coming for me. you one day. They're coming for me one day. They're going down the list, and well, they're like, this guy, this guy right here, he's been talking shit. Fuck it, I'll go with you. <laughs> Let's talk about Disney. Disney is fucking satanic. Disney is evil. <laughs> Any any evil. entity that's trying to take over the world evil is my what I know is uh is not good in my book. Yeah. Any because well, I mean it's, there's so a difference between we'll wanting label to this help as the, the Disney conspiracy because there's a difference between wanting to help the world and wanting to take over the world. If you want to help, then you're not looking for fucking power and control or anything like that. But is it conspiracy? Over, I think not. No, not at all. That's the fucking so, fact. Why would you have that much land out there? And I'm pretty, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, like, they had, like, the CIA, CIA. or mm-hmm. helped them buy that it land. It was the CIA. Shit. See? Okay, helped, so. Helped, uh, what's the word? Helped secure the land for Disney. Yeah, so, like, 
What the fuck? They got fuck? hella acres. What the fuck? That's something I should Google. I wanted to actually fact check that. How? Uh, and we're right there. So, like, that shit is in our backyard. Fuck. The fucking the mouse. Who would have thought that little guy would have gained so much popularity? So much fucking mind control over people. The sheeple. <laughs> Disney. It's Disney World, right? That's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The world. Is 27 thousand acres wow what are they Walt doing? disney and world like, is yeah if you've ever driven through disney through the disney property if you come ever, if you ever come to visit orlando Jesus. you can have a whole vacation within, drive around disney, yeah. see so much shit and, and still never not be leave out of it. the disney property yeah until you go home to the airport pretty much which I'm surprised they don't that, have their own airport. I was literally just about to say that. With all that land, I'm sure that at some point they'll have their own airport. So you don't even have to fucking. It'll be soon enough. They have their own cruise line, so I'm sure they'll have their own airline. I've been on a Disney cruise. Those are fucking nice, though. Um, but yeah, that's where the Disney's got to be evil. I mean, for instance, it, like we said, could be a conspiracy, but highly think not. No, it's not. CIA it's helped them secure all that fucking land. Uh, there's this part is where it gets a little interesting. There's pictures. And documents of it being true, but Walt Disney was apparently a 33rd degree Freemason. Walt, Walter so, Disney. good old creator of Disney was, you know, running with the Freemasons. And uh, he was very anti-Semitic. The, that is true. The he mere, the, the mere inverted uh, image of Mickey spells wicked. Like, uh, there's a six, there's 666 and a serpent within the Walt Disney logo. There's just a lot of questionable shit. Apparently, the fucking when I wish upon a star. When you wish upon a star. That's for a pentagram for Lucifer. <laughs> and I'm like, it's no difference who you are. I was just like, and then there's, I mean, there's a page that like has all the different crazy ass shit that's within Disney movies, within Disney shows that like have satanic meaning or shit like that. And it's just like, oh my God. When you start yeah. seeing all that, you can't unsee it. So it's like, <laughs> the fuck did I just stumble upon? Yeah, Disney. Um, that was a rabbit hole I did not expect to go down. Yeah, Disney is. Uh, and like, I haven't been to Disney in a while, but preferably. I'd I've always go, boycotted Disney I've, my whole life. I'd rather, I'd I rather go to fucking Universal. I'm a I'm Universal go guy through and through because. It's more one, fun. I just like roller coasters. Yeah, it's more fun. I like roller coasters. Not a lot of people. And well, granted, there's a lot of people at Universal at all times, too, but. And not as many, and not fucking. Granted, there's nerds everywhere, but there's so many fucking weird people at Disney. The fucking Disney adults, bro. Yeah, Disney adults can fuck off. They're a real thing. They can cult. get their asses. They'll beat. have a fucking army of fucking Disney people. And I'll beat they'll have. The they'll build their own little world. They might take over know. Orlando. All right, relax. There's some people that probably could fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they have. For, I'm sure they've recruited people that. Yeah. They got some fucking army veteran <laughs> Disney people like, what'd you say? They got I'd tattoos like, of Mickey that have fucking like, 20 years in the Rangers. <laughs> Actually, that fucking, the the one, um, hope this guy never listens to the podcast. The one bald dude at fucking 24 who wears, he looks like Mr. Clean, wears white tees. I don't know if you would see him. He Does goes, he go early he goes in yeah, he goes, he yeah. goes early now, but he has Disney sleeves. But that man is yoked. <laughs> See what I mean? But he looks literally uncanny. Dresses all white tee every day. I see him. He's in an all white tee. This man looks like Mr. Clean. That head is shiny. Mr. Clean will fucking clean your clock. If yeah, you're he not fucking, fucking careful. Did. <laughs> Knock your fucking he was right clean next. To, he was right next to my ass. What today, you say so about Mickey? <laughs> literally, he's got them all. He's got Goofy on him. He's got fucking the sleeves look hard though. I'm not gonna lie, the sleeves are hard. He's even got a leg sleeve of it. He's Disney, oh, Disney the fuck out. See, this is what I mean. You're not getting fucking universal fucking sleeves like that. And if you do, like, you kind of think it's cool. When what you get a they? Disney sleeve, it's like, oh, what the fuck? Like, yeah, bro. I haven't, like, stared at the man long enough to know everything, but he was right next to me today. So I glanced a grown over. Ass man having and Mickey he has and fucking. And, shit. and this guy isn't small, you know? It's not a small canvas to, like, this guy is yoked. Like, if you get universal stuff, you can get, like, fucking, I don't know, like, Fast and Furious, Jurassic Park, dinosaurs and cars. Transformers. If you get fucking Transformers. If you the get Simpsons. fucking the, uh, yeah, the Simpsons, <laughs> I guess. I'm just saying they've been around forever. 
That's a whole conspiracy in itself. We should do an episode about The Simpsons one day. But I never watched The Simpsons really. But like, I'm sure you've seen the amount of shit that's in The Simpsons that's been like predicted. Yeah, all the. Because that it's shit's just, wild. It's just kind of weird. They either got a time traveler working for them, or they just plan shit through the show, and they're like, "Hey, make it happen." Because the shit that happens, the correlation is uncanny. Like it'll happen on The Simpsons, and boom, happens in real life. They predicted what? Trump running for president. They predicted 9-11. They predicted fucking... That is crazy. But even Johnny Bravo did that shit. Johnny Bravo. My beloved Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Cartoon Network. Maybe all cartoons. That's where I got all my game from. (laughs) What are your hobbies? Babe? Chicks? Babes? Do the monkey. (laughs) You can fucking go like this. His little dance move. Johnny Bravo is a great cartoon. Sure was. Cartoon Network was a great fucking... But... Yeah, I was more of a Cartoon Network Same. than I was. Early Cartoon Network. Yeah. When we Dexter's got a little, Lab, when we got a little older Dog. Cartoon Network kind of like. Codename Kids Next Door was pretty good, though. Yeah, it that was. was kind of later in, you know, in our youth, but I did like Codename Kids Next Door. Yeah, that was good. Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab was. Cow and Chicken. Did you ever watch Cow and Chicken? You were steep. And, yeah. Cow and Chicken was that shit. Cow and Chicken. Um, Big Brother. What was the gu- one guy's fucking name? Uh, fuck. The Man wh- Dark? No. From Dexter's Lab? I no. man dark. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn From it. what show? Ed, Ed, and if Eddie? Could, Cow uh, and Chicken? Was, no, was Doug on Cartoon Network? No, Doug was on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon? Okay, yeah. but that's not Doug, the show. Doug, hey, Arnold, that was on Nickelodeon. Yeah. Hey, Nickelodeon had them shits, too. But, I mean, they had the Looney Tunes, fucking Tom and Jerry. That was all on Cartoon Network. Yeah, they would play that early in the morning. That was my shit. Tom and Jerry is still one of my favorite cartoons. Great cartoon. I don't know. So those older cartoons are always kind of... I like them, I like but them. they're a little weird to me. I mean, Tom and Jerry was so cool because there's hardly any words ever said, and it was just action. <laughs> Straight action. <laughs> you got no words. The occasional, ah, yeah. fucking yelling, but you had no words. They were all about great. that action. Great stuff. All the smoke. Uh, what was another show? It was on Nickelodeon. That was good. Um, Rugrats. Rocket Power was that Rocket shit. Rocket Power was that shit. Rugrats. Um, but what was the other show where the the one crazy kid, they like find, found him in like an African safari. Oh, fucking the Wild Thornberries. Wild Thornberries. <laughs> that, was my, <laughs> yeah, that was my shit Darwin. too. Darwin. <laughs> crazy little guy. Imagine having him as a fucking. I did not brother. expect to talk about cartoons today. <laughs> <laughs> this, we get so off track sometimes. No, I mean, but yeah, back to Disney being evil, like conspiracy or not. Fuck them. There you, you go. Put that in your. That was our thoughts on it. it. Going off Disney, back to our earlier topic. Fucking, we're just gonna talk about conspiracies all day. Fuck it. Bill Gates, Billy, this guy to go off of those uh, COVID and vaccines and all that. He was fucking backing a lot of that shit. Yeah. And then there's but he wasn't he invested with a lot of like he was pharmaceuticals and, and then there's so of course so, so of course you know his pockets were getting why, deeper and deeper and that's why the left was pushing it a lot too because a lot of the people who are on the, the democratic side are involved oh, yeah. with the pharmaceutical pharmaceutical companies and shit like the, that they're so like, sponsored so by like, them shit listen I'm not saying I'm against one side or against the other I'm just calling it how the fuck I see it yeah I mean <laughs> like, well, you you follow the money. You could see there's a lot of evil <laughs> Real shit. shit. Like it's not hard, shit. but people will decide to ignore that. Yeah. And like people have the listen, covers, I know somebody that covers is covers thrown way know, over their eyes. I know somebody that is an atheist. They have told me to my face that they are atheists. They don't believe in any type of higher power, any type of God. And hey, that's your belief. I don't care. That's what you believe. I don't know what the fuck happens. But this same somebody is someone that is so like this side is correct and the other side is just so wrong. And in my eyes, it's like you're giving up one religion for another when you're over here saying that religion is so bad because politics and people that ride for a certain side so hard is essentially fucking a religion. You're saying that no. there is this side is it's correct and the other side they is have wrong. More power. And, and if you believe in what the other side says, then you are wrong too. And that it does that not sound what like everybody's gripe against religion is? Well, I mean, religion. I'm not saying what are, what for what, instance, what you believe even, or not, but even like preachers. that's what that's what most people that are against religion would say that their gripe is against religion. 
Yeah, I mean they're that or so like the fact the that judgingness that like, so the fact that you are judging somebody because they don't vote the I same don't know way if as you. This is a word. I don't probably. I've said not. some very questionable <laughs> things in the past yeah, couple yeah, days. We all have. I've said more better on here, so there you go. Touche. <laughs> but like the fact that you are so Against pushing one for thing. one side and saying the other side is wrong, just like people in religion do sometimes when they're trying to shut and in any you know we've said this about the you know the lgbtq we've said this about a lot of things like do what you do practice what you preach exactly if you want to preach to a certain a god or pray to a certain god do that if you want to swing a certain way you want to live your life a certain lifestyle do that i don't give a fuck just don't for again to what jacob don't force your beliefs on me and that goes politically as well politically religious like like I've said before, I don't try to ever force my my political, my religious views upon anyone. If someone wants to have that discussion with me, I'm open to having that discussion. I'll tell you how I feel. I'll give you, I mean, most of the time my unsolicited opinion. But I will tell <laughs> so you, you don't have to ask. Just I will give tell you how I feel. But you know, like I'm not one. I'm not gonna overpower somebody and not let them give me their side of the story. If they want to have a conversation, conversation is when two people are sitting listening to each other. You know, you don't have to Not agree even with listening, everything, but understanding each well, other. Well, you gotta, to your you gotta point, listen to understand. You can't, you can't agree or disagree unless you understand, and you can't agree to disagree unless you understand. And you can't agree to disagree unless you fucking listen. So, sit down with someone, talk to people. It's okay. But back to Bill, Billy over here, Billy Gates with his pockets full, you know, pockets full of money invested in fucking everything. Um had a TED talk that he literally on the TED talk was like with the with the help of vaccines and healthcare we can reduce the the world's population literally said that verbatim on a TED talk right then you have all Bill Gates representatives and this TED talk is published came out everything it's been tried to you know it's it's been, it's been trying to be removed off the internet ever since but a lot of people have posted it and reposted it so seen it plenty of times the wildfire but what's media. funny is like bill gates representatives and like basically anything about covid like you see you'll see little things at the bottom they'll give you either the false information or this and they go oh this is just another instance of bill gates words being used the wrong way how can someone verbatimly say with the verbatim. help verbatim 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 what i say verbatim 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 Bur- burberry verbatim Verbatim. Verbatim. Lee say, with the help of vaccines and global health care, we can reduce the population. Bro, he just misspoke. What are you talking about? Huh? I mean, for, <laughs> for a very well-educated guy. Well, I mean, he did drop out of college. There you go. But <laughs> pretty, <laughs> Stay in school, a kids. very rich person. <laughs> you know, pretty educated. Uh, to the world, he's probably shit. way smarter than majority of us, correct? Most people would think he's smarter than the average person. But well, that's one thing. And then you got um, one of his plans. This was probably the greatest one I heard, honestly. One of Bill Gates' plans to uh, attack climate control was he planned to uh, release dust into the like oh, into the atmosphere the to block the I've fucking seen, sun. They weren't they going to do that in Europe? But a lot of people have tried. It's not just Bill Gates. Yeah. I mean, NASA had said some dumb shit like that. A bunch of people, but then you think of that, and you're, I'm like, it just doesn't sound like a good idea. Well, my thing, my thing <laughs> is like, when they when they say it, dust, what are they really releasing into the atmosphere? Oh, who the fuck knows? That's just gonna just all fall back down on the population. So, like, well, what are we'll they be some really dusty motherfuckers? <laughs> well, my thing is, I don't think it's dust. I think they're trying to reduce the population in a certain way. You're gonna put poison in that shit? Who knows? Hey, listen, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. They do that shit to crops. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. So I mean, why? I would not why? Doubt what it. makes you know people like us people, and not to be all tin foil, but we're going tin foil episode over here. That might be the fucking title. Who knows? Tin foil episode. Get yeah, your tin foil hats ready. It was a brainstorming right here. You Conspiracy. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I think some crazy shit's got to go on. People, no the higher way. ups, the people who are really that rich, and there was even someone who uh, was on like the. What's it called? The fucking, not a chairman, but someone like that. CEO. It wasn't a CEO, but a it was somebody. Of the board. It was someone in the Bill Gates Foundation. Mm. Got arrested for making a speech at like 
he was he was supposed to be speaking and he said something and then like there was outrage and then he was like to the chair do i have do i at least get my three minutes to talk and they said yes and in the very next words that came out of his mouth was bill gates clearly cares about children he was he frequently flied with jeffrey epstein to, and like <laughs> and then they fucking yanked his ass off the podium so Damn. like you can only imagine these higher yeah, ups you know like they do kids. they do some grimy ass shit well, I mean, that most people will never know about because if you, if the any, wool is just thrown over so many well, people's eyes. Well, I mean, eyes. if you look through history, I like history. You know, yeah. if you look through history, that's what anybody in power has done. Anyone that has that type of influence and power politically and things like that will try and shift things into how they feel like the world should yeah, go into their views. And that's just how, that's just people. And this has been my one thing since the first time. Someone asked me what I thought about politics when I was 13 years old. Listen, it's not a politics thing. It's not a race thing. It's not a religion thing. It's not a tall, short, skinny, fat thing. It is a people thing. People are naturally corrupt people. They can be corrupted. Anyone, naturally, yeah. because we are greedy. We've got to fend for ourselves. we got to put us first. Just natural, like those natural negative instincts that we as society, as we see it now, are negative. Those those will come out eventually. So if you put those people in power, if you put anyone in power, naturally at some point they're gonna get greedy, they're gonna get money hungry, they're gonna think that their 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 view of the world is the way that the world should be, and they're gonna try and impose that view yeah, on everyone on, else on the because they have society. the power to do it. And I'm not saying you're right or wrong for doing that. That's just what people fucking do. You see it in if you go in small groups, groups of fucking go to go to a school project, there's always somebody that will take control and lead the group how they feel it should be led. And that's just how people are. So imagine you put that on a scale of you're you know, you're running the United States. That's 300 million people, however many millions of people are in the United States. And you 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 know you can only pay attention to so many fucking you're just going to start fucking doing cookie cutter shit handing it out to the people and then you know once you see what people are going to bite on then I'll bet what else yeah, can I get I away mean, with pretty much it's like like you said if if it's something that's working you know and they're giving you the bare minimum and it's the people are accepting it mm-hmm. and that's why we we had said both sides left and right when they are just giving so much power to these people and then just accepting whatever these people give back to them, mm-hmm. it's ridiculous. You got to hold whoever you're voting for to a higher standard. You have to, you know, make sure they align with what you truly believe. Not one or two issues. Like, fine, do your fucking research. I mean, one day, you know, ain't 35 yet. Run for president, my damn self. <laughs> Need more of a political background, <laughs> yeah, but <that's... laughs> but I'm just saying. But it's one of those things where you got to like. Do your fucking research. You can't just be willy-nilly about it. You can't just be like, oh, I heard this person say this. They got to be a bad person. See what? See the whole interview. Watch the whole fucking interview. I will Watch s- other people's interviews. I will say this, though, like, because I kind of fall into the category, too, of, like, I just want to live my life. Like, I just, what, like, I understand that a lot of things are out of my control, and I just want to live my life. So, like. Whatever's going to happen in the things that are happening above me that I know I have no control over, like, I tend to not... Let them be. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, and I let bygones like, be bygones. As long as it's not affecting me. And it is, you know, it's a good and bad way to look Correct. at things. It is. Because sometimes it does benefit me to just, like, not worry about things that I know I have no control over. I have, like, very, like, minute say about shit or very fucking tiny amount of say about anything that's going on. Oh. And in reality, so anything helps, we say, yeah, and it no helps. offense to us or the people who are watching, vote who, for whoever the fuck you want. Reality of it is, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say our opinions anyway. don't matter because they do, but on the grand scheme, like our voices aren't being heard the way we would want them to be heard. Yeah, like it's exactly. it's like Eric said, it's every household. You know, it's you can govern your own household, govern you know like. Your family, the people around you, treat others how you want to be treated. But like grand scheme of things, what you think, what I think, like unless we become, you know, international fucking sensations, even then it's still we only have going to care about what I have to say politically. People only like you when like athletes is a great example. 
when you're not saying anything and just playing your sport, if you're a mus- musician and you're just singing your songs or whatever, people are going to love you. The minute that you start the diving ha- into politics about and, start someone leaning, else. and start leaning one way or another that is so fucking Factual. polarizing, you're going to start getting fucking haters. And that's not good for business sometimes. Look at, I mean, key example, Andrew Tate. Booyah. But, but I, another one, LeBron James, rich key example. I mean, he was up until he, before he made the decision, and that's when he started, like, you know, started going more into, like, social activism and shit. Everybody loved him. And then once he kind of... Well, LeBron's, cement, uh, LeBron's always been uh, no, in but, the middle because, I mean... No, but once he started, like, outwardly saying where what way he leans, he started well, yes. getting a lot of I would, fucking I hate. would say he got more criticism for, like, because I was going to say on his sports side... There was always, you know, like the oh, of course, because the, he's been getting, this he's been, or that, because he's always going to be compared to somebody. But like, but generally, yes, he was liked. Say. Like, generally, yeah. he was like everybody yeah. respected him as a talent, and generally, he was like once he started doing polarizing shit, whether it was in sports with the decision and going to South Beach or politically, where he kind of like planted his flag. That's where he started getting a lot of fucking a lot more hate. He was getting scrutinized a lot. And I'm a big LeBron James fan as far as a basketball player. I don't really agree with a lot of, with some of the things he says about just not even politically, just certain takes that he has. He does kind of seem a little like he wants to be accepted and like be politically correct all the I time. Mean, it's just yeah, like, but it's also but, like that role like in, in it's sad to say, but like when it comes to professional athletes or you know musicians or anyone that isn't in politics if they have a difference of opinion than anyone they can like you said be so scrutinized and looked upon so like i mean think about Kyrie, for instance Kyrie, Kyrie, is Kyrie fucking... but as a talent but you a lot of people give like have different looks upon him now because of not only you know his political views but what he's done off the court versus on the court you know once he was healthy, he well, was he was sensational. And you know, this I'm great. I'm glad that you brought that up because I've been I've been a critic of Kyrie Irving. If you go back and listen to past episodes, I've openly said that Kyrie is a great talent, but like the off the court shit, it just never. Yeah. It just I don't get it sometimes. And you go to a chiropractor. the it's funny because he lost his deal with Nike. And he yep. and this is the one thing that I know a lot of people that are, are gonna say, Well, that's just like a you're just regurgitating shit or whatever. Listen, he got let go of Nike, which again, they which, they do a lot of business over in China with the, yeah. the human rights stuff and blah de blah this and that. You already know that whole deal. If you're not, then go fucking look it up. And he just signed a new shoe deal with a Chinese fucking shoe brand, and it starts with an A. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but like it's a like five year deal. Or something a- like it's that. like A A or A N T A, some shit like that. Anta I don't, maybe Anta, something. something. Look if you can't look it up, but it just goes to show you that like people don't really fucking give. I a mean, fuck. a lot of people he, do not give a fuck if you if you start flashing dollar bills in their face, morals go out the fucking window. I mean, it does not matter what you think politically, Kyrie's morally. Kyrie's wasn't really about like China though. I no, it wasn't, think. but it was human rights in this country and the human rights in China fucking suck dick. <laughs> like the True. work conditions and the why people go over to China for their factories like Nike and things like that is because these they work in fucking shitty environments. They're getting fucking paid pennies an hour. The 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 conditions in Anta. these workplaces. A N T A. Yeah. So he signed like a five year deal with them, and it's just like okay, like I'm but not saying just, that. I'm was... not saying that. Like, keep on preaching what you're preaching. But if you're gonna do that, then why continue to do deals with countries that don't give a fuck about their people and don't give a fuck about human rights? I mean, that's just my, to, like if that's the if that's the if that's the hill you're gonna die on. I feel like that's you should practice that through and through, especially something that is preach. especially something that is so like. I mean, human rights that is a big that, touchy topic. Something that got him a lot of heat though was more on the like anti-Semitic because that word has been thrown around a lot lately. Yeah, but I feel like that was posting something. But notice how that got a lot of publicity, and the fact that he signed with that anti shoe company is way down here. Because well. Two reasons, because one, anything that's anti-Semitic or fucking racially, you know, any side you want to look at it, whether it was uh, Black Lives Matter, fucking uh, Stop Asian Hate, 
whether it was fucking blue lives an- matter <laughs> anti-semitic if even if you did say something like blue lives matter like Remember people, when anything James you say like that wore like a jacket that had like the the blue lives matter flag and he said he didn't know what it meant but he started he got a lot of shit for that so i'm saying anything that was politically like or even racially any anything racially charged involved racially charged people were on your ass like fucking stink on shit like the, anyone was coming for you <laughs> they were all coming for you yeah because if your views or if what you were saying didn't align and i'm not talking about like hate speech or anything you know really you know anything racist but if Kyrie's case he had reposted some or he had watched a video that was on a platform already it ain't like he fucking created the video. Yeah. It wasn't he I just think promoted a video. It was it was like he watched a video and promoted it talking about I mean it was talking about I'm pretty sure like oppressed black people or whatever the case may be but it had something along I didn't do the whole research. I didn't watch the fucking video. I don't know if it was exactly like putting down Jewish people or saying like Jewish people or the reason for something. I don't I don't know why but like hella Jewish people which are very powerful people got involved and it was a, such a big deal that you know the whole sports world had to know about it yeah. well i mean Kyrie Irving has also built that reputation for himself yeah but to gets, my point is is that like to my point is is that the left is in bed with china the right is in bed with russia if, and if if since Kyrie Irving is doing business with china like a lot of the right was attacking him because, oh, well, you're for the human rights, but you're dealing with a, you're taking a big money deal, a shoe deal with a country that does not give a fuck about their people. The same thing that if the left, if somebody from the right was doing something involved with Russia, the left would attack them for that because they're, I mean, we're the three big powers as far as like pushing shit. I, I mean, guess. regardless, and it's sad to say, but like how the world views the u.s is like it's the u.s against the world essentially i mean at the end of the day we have it's everybody for themselves if shit were yes if things were to go to shit if things were to go to shit a lot of it would be you know everybody for them fucking selves we would we would think that but the u.s is looked uh, looked upon to bail everybody out at the end of the day yeah yeah if it were to go to shit for the u.s who's bailing us out nobody so it's like england England ain't bailing us fucking out. They would help us out. They wouldn't do shit. We are shit. one in the fucking same. They're in here. Boom. They wouldn't do shit. About like an hour, so. If you want to wrap shit up first. Is my mom okay. leaving? Mm, all right. You're like, where is she going? Well, I know she's been drinking a little bit, but I don't know. But, um, another <laughs> offer her something. No, <laughs> I will not be doing that. But, um, make good decisions, kids. Hey, always make good decisions. But, um, what were you just saying? I mean, I feel like we could probably wrap uh, it up. Soon. I was just saying that, you know, England, Man. you were saying England would back us. Oh, they would help Maybe. us. Out. Yeah, they would help Maybe. us. Maybe. I mean, you have to think we have allies in the. I mean, that's. Not saying we don't, but. but they, and they would. If if our economy goes bad, it, it affects the global economy. So we would have people because it it works in their best interest that would help us out. Correct. I mean. Unless they start making side deals and shit like that. Which and body, body, easily body. might happen. I mean, you saw how many uh, countries were all. All for, you know, getting rid of the U.S. dollar. Yeah, but, I mean, that's only going to go so far. Like, I was, I, when I first read that, too, I was like, oh, shit, that is kind of like, I mean, they're, they're kind of trying to do something, but that's only going to go so far. I mean, but we, I, I mean, we do a lot of work with Saudi Arabia, with the oils, and those motherfuckers are rich as shit. Yeah. So, like. If they help us, we're good. <laughs> honestly. Because, like, fuck the rest of the world. going to help us if out. The Saudi, if we get Saudi, <laughs> we good. oil money is fucking real. Yeah, that shit is that fucking, shit's the richest shit in the that world. That is fucking untaxed, ungoverned money. They yeah, just fucking. They have fucking trillions of dollars. <laughs> but um, what I was going to say was fucking. The, I did see a thing that why governments are, you know, pushing so much to devalue and technically get rid of you know, the actual dollar and make it all a digital currency oh, because they give a percentage of that. Shit. Correct. Banks, you know, and they'll be making, we bank. would, we would stop having to fucking bail out all the banks because banks would be making, it would be no, my $50, your $50 anymore. It'd be the bank's $50. Yeah. Like, 
anytime you swipe that credit card, the bank would give you know. Yeah, because 1. that's 5%. what those, sur- those surcharges are. Those yeah. fucking oh, if you got if you're paying with your car, then you got to pay three dollars here, a dollar fifty there. That's I mean, because that's yep. the bank. I mean, that goes to the bank. So yep, bank make they money. Make, they got to make their money somehow. Everyone's got to make their fucking money mm-hmm. somehow. Pretty much, but money yep. and pussy make the world go around. I will fucking say that to the day I die. It's true. That's the only reason people women run the world. world. That's the only reason people go into war for money or for women, for power. For I would say it's whatever. more for power, money and power. I would say pussy. It's the tequila talking. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the Trojan War, the most famous one, that was fought over a woman. Fucking burning down fucking civil empires because this girl left me for another man and now I gotta go fuck shit up because I can. I mean, you have to think about it. Dudes will fucking fight over that shit. I don't know. I mean, if you look about it and fucking, I'll before I go too far on a fucking tangent, but like, it's happened throughout history. That is fucking an, our that. animalistic primal instinct is that like if you feel like something that is yours is being taken. Especially when it comes to procreating and things of that nature, you're gonna fucking oh, be willing well, to fucking throw down. I haven't. Made it. Did she get locked out? Probably. How? Knock on close the garage. But I think she went. Ah, uh, did she not go out the front door? But yeah, fucking uh, it's just our primal instinct. We can talk about that next episode. People's natural primal instinct versus what we have built as society. There you go. Because that primal instinct is there. It is there all around us. We just have the lens of society that make us. Uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for right now? Can't think of it, but make us repress. There you go. Those primal instincts. But we still make decisions based off of it because that's emotion. That's anger. That's sadness. That's happiness. We still make decisions based off those primal instincts, those primal emotions and shit like that. But we'll save that for next week. See? There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you fucking go. He's like, see? <laughs> if he remembers this to write it down, we'll see. We'll fucking write it down right now. Well, sign us out in a, in a fucking jiff, in a jiffy. That's this so much... uh, this episode was brought to you by uh, Terramana Tequila and um, The Rock might work. He gets a check from Disney. And and I like us talking about it. Fresca. Fresca, grapefruit, citrus, zero calories. There you go. That's what brought you this amazing, awesome conversation. This this talk that. Me and Jacob have on a weekly basis, sometimes twice a week, and we just talk about shit, shoot the shit. You know, he thinks one way, I think another. We think similarly. It don't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. You know why? Because we're still buds, and we're brothers. We'll go to fucking battle for each other. To war! (laughs) And that's all you need to know. Also, peep the new shirts. Check out the new merch. The fucking tie-dye. It's fucking trendy. (laughs) It's fucking nice. This nice sturdy nice material, snug, you know, or nice fucking, you know, breathable, a little bit more flexible material. But give it a couple washes, you know, maybe not put it in the dryer, just let it air dry, and you'll be good to go. Read the tag, you'll you'll know how to there wash it. There you go. So but, uh, check that out. I don't know if you want to fucking. I know you want me to pull that snippet about the shirt so we can fucking run a promotion on that. You might, yeah, we could do that. Or because I'm say, probably gonna just cut the rest of the snippets tonight and then uh, go ahead and, and then have, hold up. Uh, Hold up the bottle real quick with this hand. This is your editing power to cut all this. This is just for the thing you're going to use on Canva. You can show your shirt a little bit. Oh. That'll be here. I'm not going to do that one, but fuck what you heard. <laughs> Shows the new merch. Yeah, I was thinking about that too the other day. So, what? Nice. About that we should like end the beginning of the episode or the end of the episode. Like pause for a fucking the thumbnail like a screenshot yeah. but any last words Jacob great before we think alike. hey great minds do think alike any last words before we uh sign off this uh episode episode 162 do your research do your research talk to people have conversations and don't fucking 
judge people based on those conversations. Read between the lines a little bit. And with that, everybody love everybody, and we will see you next week. week. Booyah. Peace.